In this video, I give you the 10 easiest max tiers or higher right now in Brawl Stars. The update has been there and brawlers have been nerfed and buffed and of course I will keep you up to date. Let's kick it off. At number 10 on this list is Surge. Surge has been given the nerf that his hypercharge is slightly slower to recharge. This has very little effect on how good he is. So Surge is still very good. Surge's build is very simple. You need to learn how to use him well. This is the build you want to use for Surge. A tip I will give you is that you need to learn how to use his gadget well. I think it is one of the best gadgets in the game. Surge is good on close range maps. Examples are Stormy Plains and Skull Creek. Also Cordelius, as I'm sure you know, is one of the best brawlers right now. This is simply because of his attack and super. His attack does a lot of damage and with his super, you can easily attack or get away. This is perfect. A lot of people don't know which build is better, but I recommend this one. In my opinion, this is the best build to play with and kill people the fastest. You want to play Cordelius on close range maps with lots of bushes. His best map is Stormy Plains. It's nice if you have his hypercharge too. You can literally kill everyone with this. Bull is in my opinion the most underrated brawler in this game. While I explain everything to you, pay attention to the game for a moment. How did I not die here? Okay, moving on to Bull. What makes Bull so good is that he does so much damage at close range. You can easily kill any brawler. You get close by using your super and gadget, and you can also get away with his super again. You want to play Bull on maps like Skull Creek. Believe me, give him a chance. Stu was already very good, but he was never really in my top 10 lists. But since he got his hypercharge, he finally deserves a place. Stu is so underrated about how good he actually is. If you know how to play with him, you can easily push him high. What is important as Stu is that you have good understanding of the game. In short games, Ents is very important. Stu is good on close and mid-range maps. His best map is Rockwall Brawl. As many of you probably already know, Shelly is in my opinion, the easiest max tier in Brawl Stars. This is because of the meta at the moment in the game. Shelly counters the meta and this makes her so good. What is important with Shelly is that you get your super as soon as possible. You can use your super in combination with your gadget and this is insane. Shelly is good on close range maps. You can play her on maps with a lot of bushes like Cavern Churn or on maps like Stormy Plains. On both types of maps she is very good. Also, a standard on this list is Buzz. Soon I will upload a Buzz guide in which I will tell everything. But simply Buzz is so good because you need little skill to win with him. What is important as Buzz is that you have a lot of cubes. Otherwise, the chance of winning is very small. On maps like Feast or Famine, he is the best, where you can use your gadget in the middle. You can also play Buzz on open maps, like Rockwall Brawl. Use his other gadget. The principle is the same. I recommend you to play aggressive on these kind of maps. I see El Primo being played less and less. I don't understand why because he is still super good on maps like Skull Creek. He is good against a lot of brawlers. Brawlers like Shelly and Surge don't really counter him if you have your super and hypercharge. Even though many people hate Kit, he is still on this list. Kit is made for solo showdown. His star power and gadget are perfect for this game mode.
Otis is very underrated. His super and normal attack are just too good. You do a lot of damage and people can't attack you. This is an easy max tier, trust me. Also, Lily is easy to push to max tier. You just want to play with her very calmly and make good use of your gadget to escape. I advise you to use an extra gadget gear for that reason. <laughs> 